Hey folks, welcome back to another video of Trailhead Explanation. In this video, we are going to cover unit manipulate records with DML from the module Epix Basics and Database. We have covered the previous units of this module. You can check out the solution on our channel. For this video, we are simply going to create an Epix class that will insert a new account. And the name of the account will be decided on the value passed into the method parameter. Uh, so whatever the value that we are going to pass into the method parameter uh, as a parameter that will decide the name of the account that we have to insert. We will also be handling the error if there are any and uh, for if there are any DML exceptions, uh, then the method should return null. Otherwise, it should simply insert a new account and it should return the uh, record uh, which has been created. So uh, we will just quickly launch our Trailhead Playground and go to our developer console. Going to file new Epix class, I'm going to create a new Epix class by the name account handler. I'm copying this, pasting it in the name text area, removing any extra spaces, click OK. This is going to give you a layout of our class uh, with public scope. Next, we have to create a method again with public scope as mentioned in our challenge, and it will be static. Account will be the uh, return type as it is mentioned over there in challenge and the uh, name that I'm going to give out to this method is insert new account. Going back, I'll paste it and the parameter that I'm going to pass here is of type string and the name I'm going to give it as name. Now here we have to simply use try catch block in order to handle any exception. So I'll use uh, here as exception and E here, if, uh, as it is mentioned that, uh, if there are any DML exception, the method should return null. So I'm going to do likewise. So if there are any exceptions, simply return null. Now in insert, uh, in a try block, we have to simply insert the account. So before that we have to create an instance of the account. So account ACC OBJ is my instance variable is equals to new account. And here I have to specify the name of the account. So I'm simply going to say name is equal to the value that I'm passing in the parameter. Terminate it and that's all. In try block, you have to simply insert this ACC OBJ instance variable. Now, if everything works fine, uh, there are no exception or error. We have to simply return this uh, instance variable of type of uh, account. So, that's all we have to do for this uh, Apex class. Uh, save this class and yeah, there are no errors. We will just simply quickly test this. So I, what I'm going to do is I will uh, go to my app launcher, select account here, go to account object. And now uh, we will be just creating an account from here. So what I'll do here is I'll go to debug open ex execute anonymous and I'm going to call this class and the method. So account handler dot this method name in the name, I'm going to pass uh, the name of the account by which I want to insert this account. So I'm going to give uh, Epix challenge. That's it. Terminated and now open logs executed. So this, if everything works fine, this should return me the account uh, here. So if I go back to my accounts list, it should have created an account. There you go. It has created this account Apex challenge over here. So the name value will be Apex here. Epix challenge, right? Now going back to our challenge, uh, before just have a look to this code that we have. Yeah, so this is the simple code that we have. Going back to our uh, challenge, just click on this check challenge button. Hopefully it should pass all the cases and we should be able to complete this unit. There you go, this unit has been completed. See you in the next video, till then take care.